All right, first of all, the winner of the Name My Ship was Ken with the name The Defiant. Now for this week's interactive question, should I go take out that POI or should I just go explore a vast portion of Akua? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Hello everyone, Percher, and welcome back to Empyrean Interactive. You know, I like that. That's short, quick, and small and uh, very many other adjectives no it, it's quick and to the point i like that a lot all right so it's been a while <laughs> since the last time i posted one of these up uh, it was definitely before my vacation i think it was late october maybe um yeah it uh i was hoping i might have enough time to record uh, another couple episodes uh before i went on vacation but it didn't happen and I'm sorry about that. I was super busy. I underestimated how much work needed to be done. And then I had vacation for a week. And then I came back. And it took me a week to do a bunch of shit. And then it was preparations for Thanksgiving. There was a whole bunch of stuff I had to do. And now here we are. The Saturday after Black Friday. The sun just went behind the mountains there. Uh, and I'm finally able to sit down and record again. And so here we are. So, uh, while I was gone, what happened is 4.0 came out, and I decided that when 4.0 came out, I would start a new world. And so, here we are. Here's the uh, this little guy here, the constructor, and here's the new base. Alright, so it's, it's not, you know, exactly complete yet, but there's only so much you can do at level 5. In fact, if I go into the base, I, I don't even have the ability to make a medic station until level 7. So, what I did off-camera... Um, is I got to level five. All right, that that's what I did. I I, I, st I spawned in. I don't even remember where I spawned in, but I spawned in, and I came over here. And I placed a sucker, and then I built this base, and then I went out to that Promethean deposit over there, mined up a shitload of that. Uh, yeah, a shitload of that, <laughs> and. I built the base up a little bit. The drones are coming from that direction. There's a turret. That little cannon turret does a surprisingly fantastic job of just slaughtering any, dra any drone who gets into its range. And it's in a fantastic location because it hasn't shot anything that isn't a drone yet. So it's been a really nice help for the last couple of drone attacks uh, that turret has been. Um, so yes, in the last, or rather in the first episode, I asked you guys to name my ship. Well, unfortunately, they took away our escape pod, so I no longer have an escape pod for you guys to name, and since it re requires level 10 to be able to build a small vessel, because you need this thruster, I decided instead we'll go with a hover vehicle, since you only need level 5 to get the thruster here. So, the winner of the name my ship will instead name my hovercraft. All right, now, when I do make a ship at level 10, which will happen eventually, of course, then I'll put up, I'll do a whole new, you know, name my ship contest, and, uh, yeah, you guys are all welcome to join in on that as well, but that's going to be in the future. For now, I've got the hovercraft already made. All right? It is right there, right behind me. I'm just going to show you guys the world real quick that I've seen. I spawned in, as I recall, right on this mountain over here. Right, right, or right on this uh, this thing over here. Um, or no, it was in the water in between here and this island. That's where I landed. That's right, in the water between this mainland here and this island. And then I hopped over here and uh, placed my base over here. But when I landed in here, I ended up discovering the iron and the crashed MS Titan. Actually, maybe it was right here that I landed. I don't remember exactly where I landed, but I landed somewhere around here because when I landed, I discovered this mid this mid MS Titan part, this iron deposit, and this Promethium deposit. And then I ran over here and built my base. Um, so yeah, what's going to end up happening is this thing right here is going to get named by the winner. Now, full disclosure here, this is literally just temporary. I can't... I I did not have enough blocks to actually build a proper hovercraft. This was made with the uh, the starter block, all the, the 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 essential components. I have a cockpit, 
two directional thrusters, two normal thrusters, a uh, a generator, an RCS, a fuel tank, which is right here, and I didn't put fuel in it. I thought I did. A fuel tank and a cargo box, and that's and 15 blocks. That's it. That's what created this. This is temporary. So to the guy or girl. I, th I think everyone who responded was a guy. To the guy who, uh, and if I'm wrong, I apologize. To the person, let's go with that. To the person who named this ship, do not worry. Your name is not going to be wasted on this little heap of shit. Uh, I ran out of iron, and once I've got more iron, I will break this thing down and rebuild it. I, I'm not going to completely break it down, but I will. I'll tear you know this back part here apart, and I'll actually build the hover vehicle I wanted to build in the first place. But if we come over here. I'll show you that, uh, yeah, I completely ran out of iron. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of an issue. I, uh, I got to remove repair tool, and I made that up, but I need 10 metal pieces in order to make a charge. And I didn't think that one through, because I only have nine. I don't have enough to make another set of metal pieces. <sighs> anyway, so there's some stuff I can... I could do, but I can't do it because I need to remove a pearl. Anyway, so that's why this little heap of crap is uh, is is the winner. But for now, this is our vehicle, and I mean it, it works, it functions. I tested this out on Creative um, before I built it. That's why I, that's how I came up with this design. I, I tested it out on Creative, so it's not like a a, a whimsical design or anything like that. Um, it has a little issue climbing mountains but that's a hovercraft issue specifically not a uh, not this one it's a it's an issue with most hovercrafts you can do some fancy stuff with like if you put a, an engine down here and you put like the front and you build it up instead of and and out a little bit and then you have another en hover engine up there then it tends to climb slopes really well but I'm not gonna do anything crazy like that um, but yeah so the winner of a hey, go in there the winner of the name my ship will be on the screen here shortly and it was Ken uh, actually I believe it was at the beginning of the video uh, but I'll tell you again it was Ken whose name was the defiant so let's go in here and we're gonna come in here we're gonna name it the defiant and I decided this the Thursday I left for vacation you guys that's when I decided this on this name uh, being the winner uh, this has been decided since November 5th, so don't don't go freaking out on me or anything like that. Oh, it's just because you chose the... the, the. No, this is because this is the name that I chose back then. So, this hovercraft is now named the Defiant, and as I said, congratulations, Ken, on uh, naming the the hovercraft, on, on naming the ship. Now, uh, I wanted to put these thrusters into the blocks, which would have given me two more blocks to work with, but... Alas, without repair charges, I can't break blocks. So, yeah. As I said, this is temporary. I'll build this up into something a little more, <laughs> a little more appropriate uh, for a named vessel. But for now, this will do, and it will do what we need to do, which is get us places. Uh, first place I need to go, of course, is that iron deposit, which is I believe out in that direction. Yeah, that iron deposit out there. That's where I need to go first. Uh, so that's where we'll head first. But before that, there's a couple things that we can do here. I think, isn't there? Oh, well, first I need to put those back in there. Don't mind me. I was using this file to test my, uh, test things for my beginner's guide. Oh, I did make an oxygen station. Well, shit. Give me that. I forgot I made that. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, well... Speaking of things that I can do, <laughs> come over here. We're going to place the auction station on this wall here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tap into that. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Hold up. And now I'm going to tap into that. Whatever. Um... <laughs> And, uh, you know, I was going to put some Gatling guns on the, on the hovercraft, and man, I'm so glad I decided not to build those, because I don't have the materials for them. I could really use some drones, 
Drones. Attack. Pliss. No. Jerks. They only attack when you don't want them to attack. Figures. <laughs> no. All right, so a couple things that I can do, though, is uh, come in here and make up. Let's see, we've got two in there, and we've got the spoiled food. I have to make six here. We've got two in the thing. Make seven. We'll make it good. All right, so that's seven. All right, so we got seven of them. Cool. Uh, next up, I surprisingly have not gotten a single one. Well, not surprisingly, actually. I haven't killed but one plant monster, actually, so it's not actually all that surprising that I haven't gotten any Akua plant sprouts. But, as you see, I'm very low on food. However, I do have a fridge. And I do have some food stored up. So, I mean, I have some food, but it's not a lot. So, I'm going to have to go and shoot some things to get some food. Because that is now all the food I have. I have 200 food worth of food. Uh, so, while I'm out, I'm going to have to grab some meat, which is not really an issue. It's just something I have to do. And I am going to see, I've got me my coffee. Actually, these can go down here. They don't need to be on my bar. So I've still got rock dust. I've got all this stuff. I'm going to be doing something a little different with, uh, with the food uh, because I was, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. And I realized I've been doing it wrong. Uh, thanks to the guy on Zane's stream whose name I cannot remember who told me that I'm an idiot and I've been doing it wrong this whole time. So yeah, thanks, dude, whoever you are. Because I always like being told that I'm an idiot. He didn't actually call me an idiot. He just said that I was doing it wrong. And uh, there's no use to making pie. And he's absolutely correct. Pie is actually a waste of resources. So I won't be making pie anymore. Okay, turn on the ship. Power left 88 minutes with one fuel pack? What? That's what it says? I Wow. That is incredible. Man, these things are fuel efficient as hell. So I put 10 of these in here. Holy shit, 1,000 minutes idle. What is this? 256 when you're moving, but what? What? Wow. That's in that is ridiculous. Now, as you may notice, we have a slight issue here. I, uh, I can't see shit. It's pitch black outside. All right, so what I'm going to do... Is, uh, is, is, is just turn that off. Hop out. Oh, don't you dare flip over. Don't you dare. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Man. It's going to be real tricky. But with that thing having a 1,000 minute idle time, I'm not terribly concerned. I'll just leave the damn thing running. Um, I need metal plates, which I don't have right now. But let me see if I can come in here and make a spotlight cube, maybe. Oh, I don't have it learned yet. I don't have the freaking point. Oh, I have three, actually. What does it require? Two metal plates, two components, and one glass. I don't have the metal plates. Damn. I got the components, and I got... Well, I can make the glass. That's not an issue. If I had one more metal plate, I would do that. But it just became nighttime, and I can't see shit. So this is going to be kind of a pain in the neck. But, alas, I'm sitting here rambling and not doing anything. So, let's turn it back on. And I believe it's this direction. Yeah, close enough. Let's get going. Now, for those who don't know, there's this nifty little booster that you can do with a hovercraft, and apparently it completely drains it no matter what now. That's that's new. That kind of sucks. But whatever. Whoa! It kind of helps you not... Wow, I just ran into a coffee plant. See, this thing's got some issues driving on up, up hills, but... Ooh, another Promethean deposit. That's actually not very helpful to me, but cool. Thanks. I hear a plant monster, which is not ideal, but... We will deal with that here shortly. Let's just hop out. I'm not concerned with it using power, honestly. All right, I think I just pissed something off. Reload this, yep. Shit, reload, run, run, motherfucker, run. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Run, bitch, run! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at them evasive maneuvers it employed there. All right, so no no sprouts yet. It's unfortunate. Ah! I'm very glad I turned around. Rule number one, always check your surroundings. Whew. All right. Oh, I got a little more action packed. Hey, found some than I originally intended. Is it safe now? <laughs> Let me grab you, Mr. Wiggly. Oop, that's my timer. I know I'm I'm off on the timer though. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this one a short episode. Uh but yeah, so the question that I have for you guys this week uh is very simple. What should I do with this hovercraft? Not, not building it, but what should I do with it? Now, the two choices I'm offering you guys this time are, one, I can go and explore this crashed MS Titan mid part. I can go explore that, uh, loot the couple things that are there. Uh, or no, the mid part actually has some loot on it. Yeah, the mid part actually has some, some decent loot on it, as I recall. It's the front part that was garbage. Uh, we can go loot that. Or we can just go exploring and not actually loot any POIs necessarily but just go in and explore because I mean look I haven't explored anything all right this is the first time I've turned on the uh the hovercraft in this world so I mean up to you guys the question here is should I go take out that POI there or should I just go explore a vast portion of the Kua let me know in the comments below all right so for now What's going to happen is I'm going to grab this this thorn here because that's that's helpful. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to mine up this iron. I'm not going to do it here like on camera or anything, but I'll I'll show you guys, you know, like I did before. You know, I'm not going to really show you guys a whole lot, but uh, so I'm going to mine this iron off camera. Uh, that's how it's going to work, and then in the next episode, um, I will. Toss, I'll, I'll uh, refine the iron. I'll, I'll smelt it and whatnot. And in the next episode, we'll build up the base a bit. Uh, get uh, the farm part ready. We will put up a fence because uh, I said I was going to do that uh, after episode two. And I did end up doing it uh, off camera on accident. And then I was going to tear it down. But that fence worked freaking wonders it was such a good idea that i'm gonna start doing that like always now uh once i've got you know something like a, a hovercraft or a, a or a small vessel especially a small vessel once i've got a small vessel the fence is such a good thing to have because you're not going to be walking out and about for the most part uh so fencing off your your at least the area around your front door is incredibly helpful for keeping the uh, the monsters, especially the plant monsters, out of your base. So I'll be doing that next time as well. Uh, uh oh, I'm kind of blocking myself in here, aren't I? Uh, basically, because I said I was going to do that after episode two, and then you know everything happened, and I ended up changing worlds. So that's what's going to happen next time. Um, and then, of course, next week uh, it depends on your guys's answer uh, to the question that I proposed earlier. So. Thank you for watching. I uh, I do want to I do want to say here that I do have a Twitter account that uh, I ooh hey look level six that I do use almost daily, especially now that I'm recording again. It'll be it'll be getting used on a regular basis again. Um, on the Twitter account, as of right now, I announce things like when I'm going to stream. Uh, what's going on with video rendering and editing and whatnot, so on and so forth. Uh, any special videos that are coming out, uh, news and such like that uh, for my channel and my stuff and me and myself and Irene. Uh, no, <laughs> but uh, no, there is no Irene. Don't worry about that. That's a that's a movie. And if you don't know it, it's a good movie. You should go watch it. Um, Jim Carrey. But no. Um, yeah, so my Twitter account, like I said, very useful for keeping up to date with me. I use it basically as a news feed. Uh, 
And there's also my Twitch channel, which now that uh, as of this video coming out, uh, I should be getting back into a more normal uh, rotation on my Twitch of streaming every couple of days. And uh, I do a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff on my Twitch channel. I play games with viewers. I interact with everyone, uh, you know, more so than I do here, of course, because uh, it's live. And, you know, we all have a jolly old time and you should totally come and check me out. And yeah, so without any further rambling on, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to post in the comments below what you want me to do with the with the hovercraft. Take out that POI, or, yeah, that one right there, or go explore. And uh, I, I so look forward to the comments by you guys. I, I do read every single one of them. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And hope to see you next time. This is Purge, signing off.